This hard boiled egg has to be one of the weirdest things that I've eaten in my car. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. It's 7.30 a.m. and I just got to the gym. About to go work out my legs today. All right, let's go. finished my workout my face is literally like dripping sweat I was gonna do my typical like run on the Stairmaster and I just decided not to because I usually do like five to ten minutes on the Stairmaster at the end of every workout or I do a run on the treadmill but today because it was legs I was gonna do the Stairmaster but I just couldn't do it you guys I'm like covered in sweat super out of breath I was doing those leg presses at the end of my workout and usually I feel like I can do more than what I was able to do today and I was doing the same amount of weight I am just like, woo! But it was a really good workout. It's 8.30 now, literally 8.30 on the dot. And I'm heading home now. It's typically how a workday in my life goes. I'll hit the gym first thing in the morning and then come home, make breakfast, shower, and then get ready for the day. And I'll kind of outline what my workday looks like when I get home. I'm back home and I'm just gonna make some scrambled eggs for breakfast, maybe even a piece of toast. Haven't decided yet. finished eating my breakfast and now I'm about to write out my to-do list. I don't think I showed you guys this cute little to-do list pad that I had with my business name on it. I just think it's so cute and practical for me because I live by my to-do lists and I love that this one has check boxes so it's really nice. finished getting ready threw some makeup on I straightened my hair really quick and then I just put leggings on in this crop top because I'm working from home today so I like to be comfortable for the most part don't mind the disaster that is behind me I have so much stuff to go through I actually just consolidated some of my inventory put some of it out in my excess storage in the garage and I'm gonna pack orders now and all of that stuff so but I have to show you guys my new poly mailers that finally came in for the name change so these are like the really big ones um, but obviously they have my logo they're the pretty pink color and the website's down here and there's nothing on the back these are perfect I love them and then here's the bubble mailers which I just got in the orange because these are kind of like the sun style colors
It's almost 11.30 now. I finished packing up all the orders and I dropped them off at the post office, so I'm completely caught up on orders. Best feeling ever. I also just picked up an iced coffee from Starbucks and then I also just grabbed a egg and cheese box for my lunch because there's nothing at our house we haven't gone grocery shopping yet and i initially wanted to get the like fruit and cheese box but they didn't have it so i got this egg one but it's kind of nice because they give you two eggs now when i'm pretty sure it used to be one back in the day but i haven't got one of these in a while so i could be wrong i'm also parked outside of the nail salon right now because you guys I screwed up big time this weekend. I was at my sister's house and I was pulling something out of one of her dresser drawers and I banged the living shit out of my nail and busted it off. Now I've broken nails all the time. I do this for a living basically, but I have never broken it to the point where it literally ripped my nail. Like I don't even wanna show you because it's so disgusting, but you know what, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what it looked like when it happened. It was so bad, I was it was gushing blood and it was so super painful. That was my nail when I broke it yesterday. And I was gonna just like take a break from the acrylics, like this is my sign, I need to chill out. But my nail bed is like exposed and super sensitive where it broke. So I'm gonna go in and just get my nails filled because even though I haven't even had these for like hardly a week, I would rather just do it now while I'm in there. And I'm gonna have him obviously put another tip on here because my thought process is if I add a tip to this, it's gonna kind of like protect the open nail bed versus just getting it off and letting it be natural, which could also be good, but then I'm like, it's gonna hurt so bad every time I like use my finger. So that's kind of why I wanna get the tip put back on. So I'm gonna eat my lunch in my car and then I'm gonna go get my nail fixed. Hard boiled egg plus everything but the bagel seasoning. This is amazing. Since when did they start putting this in there? It used to be salt and pepper. This hard boiled egg has to be one of the weirdest things that I've eaten in my car. I'm back home now and I got my nail fixed. I just decided to do all white. Nice classic white nails. I love my classic white, honestly. I used to do this all the time and then never ever switch it up. And then I started going nude. And then I went from nude to doing all these like aesthetic nail trends with all the different colors and stuff. And now I'm just back to white. Anyways, I do have some inventory that I need to go through and tag, so I'm gonna work on that. I have to prep some tags right now. I showed you guys in one of my other vlogs how I have like the string and then my white safety pins. So I'm gonna prep tags, then I'm going to unpackage, process that inventory, label things, put it away, and then I need to plan my drop. So I basically use like a Google Sheet and that's kind of how I keep track of like which inventory is gonna go live when. And then I also put in like the shipping weights and price I paid, selling price, everything like that. Okay, the next thing I'm about to work on is filming an Instagram reel. I'm really trying to get better about that. It's a really good way to grow your brand right now. Obviously, everybody knows reels is all the hype. So I just planned out three different outfits, all sun styled stuff, and I'm just gonna make a reel. See how this goes. Okay, I finished making my Instagram reel and I just decorated my little mannequin in this super cute new tank top that's coming this Friday. And then I decided to pair it with this necklace, which I literally wear every single day. And then the seagrass straw hat. And these are the Beach Babe linen shorts that desperately need to be steamed. I'm gonna steam those really quick and then I'm gonna photograph 
this little outfit using my mannequin. Okay, so now I'm just looking at my spreadsheet here and I'm just kind of creating the outfits that I'm gonna have the models shoot this week. I have three different models shooting and so I'm just kind of have to plan out their outfits because otherwise I will get to the shoot and have literally no idea. And I just realized I'm gonna have to like blur that out because some of that information is private information. And also it would give away what the new arrivals are and I like to be a surprise every week. So I'll just blur that out, but yeah, so I'm just kind of working on the template. I have three models I'm shooting with this week, Caroline, Erica, and Brianna. Those are gonna be the models who are shooting the new arrivals that are going live Friday. Wow, what's my hair doing right now? So I'm basically just looking at the new arrivals, the new inventory I have coming in between now and then, because I'm shooting with one of them tomorrow and then two of them on Thursday, and I just have to plan out outfits. So I essentially just look at the inventory that I have coming in, so if it's like a shirt, I decide what I think would look good with it. Maybe a white skirt, maybe a pair of denim shorts or jeans, something like that. And then I just like tentatively plan out the outfits. Sometimes I have the models bring some of their own clothing to pair with it. Other times if I have shorts or a skirt or basically the whole outfit in sun styled inventory, then I'll have them model that obviously. That's the preferred method, but sometimes I like to style it with other stuff as well. So yeah, I'm just planning out photo shoots right now. much later now and it's about dinner time. Chad and I decided to make soup tonight. It just sounded really, really good. So I'm just gonna eat dinner and that is pretty much the end of my day. So that's basically a typical day in the life of an online boutique owner. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.